We're just gonna power through it. Oh my gosh. I wanna bite my mic. <laughs>
we're gonna make it. There we go. Ah, these are going fast. Ah! Oh, come on. I can do it. And go! I can't even get in there. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, man. You gotta somehow use the momentum of this to... I can't get out of this bowl. What happens if I just let go of the controller? Oh! Oh, at least I got back in the bowl right away. Yeah! Oh! Oh, sheesh, and these have a hole in the middle of them. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I can do this. I think I kind of have to move along with it. There we go. Uh, don't fall through. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh my gosh. This game has that exact quality that the Monkey Ball games did, where like you're having a good time, but you're also kind of having a horrible time. Oh, look at that. Look how quickly I got through it that time. Oh, like what would be the shortcut on this one? I suppose just knowing exactly where you need to go right away. Okay, so I think I just, I feel like I probably just need to pull back sooner so I'm reduced the speed. Come on. Yes, yes. Oh, other way. I did it. I do kind of miss um, the secondary goal in the Monkey Ball games where you got to collect bananas. Um, kind of added a, even a little extra level of challenge if you really wanted it. But like I was saying earlier, the biggest the biggest drawback um, is not having all those super fun little mini games in the other Monkey Ball games. But those games are $60 when they were first released, or probably $50 back. I guess I'm not sure exactly what they were when they were released, but $50 or $60. Bucks, um, and I think this is $15. Bucks. Which, I mean, considering you're basically getting like a full-fledged um, sequel, for lack of a better way of putting it, to um, the, the main core mode of the Super Monkey Ball games, that's that's a bargain in my opinion. Um, kind of wish it was actually $25, though, and they could have included a few mini-games. The presentation is pleasant, though. It's really simple, but like you can see, like everything's made of cardboard, and your ball is like I guess like a paper mache ball because it actually has like kind of like rough corners on it. It rolls perfectly smooth. It doesn't roll like it's got rough corners, but that's the way it, they make it look. Oh, I'm so close. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. There we go. Oh, this is going fast. Ah, I got dumped out. Let's see, I want to get over there now. There we go. Looks like the same thing. I have a feeling there's another unique challenge waiting at the end. Or maybe this goes faster. Oh, that wasn't too bad. See, but I bet with a course like that, I bet there's some sort of crazy weird way that I could have, like, skipped over a bunch of it by getting knocked into something. Okay, I've played this one before. Yeah, so you can see, like, they do add some really fun, new, unique uh, gameplay elements. Like, this one has a magnet kind of track on the ba on the top. And I don't think I ever saw Monkey Ball do anything like this. So that that is a cool little um, a a way they've deviated from, uh, from the Monkey Ball game. So even though the core gameplay is pretty much the exact same thing, um, they've, they've taken it upon themselves to have some unique uh, gameplay variety within each level. There we go. We probably need to kind of move along with this since it's shifting back and forth. Oh, I don't want to lose now. Come on. Stay on track. We did it, folks. All right. That was a good selection of intermediate levels. Let's just take a look at a couple of, like, insane difficult levels. This one doesn't look too bad. Uh, 
Oh, get knocked around already. Oh, these are going a lot faster, so I bet it's just going to rocket me right off the course if I get hit by one of these last ones. But I'm all about just kind of going for it, hoping for the best. So let's go for it. Oh, we made it first time through. No problem, no problem. Oh my gosh, these look like coronaviruses. This probably was called virus. I bet this was called, like, germs or something. I didn't look at the level title. All right, let's see. Um, I just kind of have to go down here. And I, like, I talk like I am know what I'm doing. Okay, oh, oh, geez, oh, geez. Sometimes you don't know if you're just meant to kind of strong arm your way through a course. What I mean by that is just kind of blazing forward and seeing. Uh, huh. Just kind of hoping for the bus. You know what? I'm going to go straight. Let's see what happens if I just go straight and go fast. And here we go. Well, that's not a good try. That's not fair. That's not what I wanted to happen. Let's try this again. Oh, see? I think that worked better. Yep, it did work a lot better. So I just need to, I just need to go straight off. And then pull to the right for this one. Here we go. Oh! Oh, it's going too fast. It's going too fast. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> uh, these games always put me in my place. I don't know. Sometimes it feels like this is like for uh, the gaming masochists, the people who want to be punished by their games. But if that's you, then you're going to love this. And that is me, too, sometimes. Uh, although I'm willing to walk away from some of the really difficult levels and just say, okay, I'm just never going to be able to beat that. Or I don't have the patience and time. All right, here we go. I, you know what? Let's go up here. Maybe I just need the extra room. And go! Oh, come off it, man. Best thing about editing... Is you can't see every time my nose is ish, and I kind of have to half pick it. <laughs> oh, need help? Oh, that's this is an insult. Hold down restart to skip the stage once this symbol appears. Okay, so you can skip a stage when you're pathetic enough. Well, I'm not skipping it. I can beat this thing. Oh, oh my gosh! I'm getting a little furious now. We're just gonna power through it. Oh my gosh. I want to bite my mic. <laughs> oh, screw this. <laughs> screw this. Oh my gosh. No, let's go back up here. I think I'm going to do better by being up here. And go. Come on, just bounce onto it. If I don't beat this, COVID wins, plain and simple. This is obviously meant to be a COVID level. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Okay, maybe on my watch. I can edit everything else out. And you guys could just be watching me play this level for the entire video. I hope that's not how it turns out, but... Oh! Yes! Oh! Pro gamer here. I'm a pro gamer. Uh, I just want to go as fast as I can through this one. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's say nope. Mm -mm. Left, right, left. Oh my gosh! Now there's holes in it. Oh, but at least it's just going. This actually, see, this might be easier. Nope. <laughs> I need a checkpoint <laughs> and an adult. All right, here we go, here we go. To the right. Oh. Oh, it saved me! Thank you, Paperball Deluxe, for saving me. Oh, my gosh! He's losing his oh. mind. My controller is getting so sweaty. I'm like, I've got like a friggin' death grip on it. Don't fall off. Please don't fall off. There we go! It just took patience in my pro gaming skills. Oh, this this one can screw off right now.
When I get frustrated, I turn into Louis Anderson. I'm dying! No one's gonna understand that reference. Come on, I really want to show a victory. Oh, 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 oh! I take back everything I said. This game is horrible, don't buy it. No, I'm kidding. No, I love this. I know it looks like I'm in misery, but that's just something you have to understand about people who like um, these kind of games. Like, it's miserable, kind of, at times, but, at, it, like, that feeling you're going to get, that you know you're going to get from your brain when you finally succeed, it's going to, like, you're going to get those, um, you know, those chemicals in your brain that are be like, wow, you really accomplished something. And it's, like, searching for that, that little rush of, like, serotonin or whatever that you're going to get from knowing that you accomplish something even if it's just a gaming accomplishment i'm seriously i'm gonna have to like get a rag to wipe down this controller it's, it's disgusting right now well i i i mean i don't know how much of this you're gonna see after editing but i've been on this one level for like 20 minutes and i know that's not like that long maybe but oh oh i'm so close oh i'm so close oh 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 there's that there's that uh, that chemical rush I was talking about. Oh, my brain, it, it loves it. It loves it. Oh, I should probably stop now while I'm ahead. Okay, so that was uh, Paperball Deluxe. Um, I haven't heard a lot of buzz about this um, among some of the indie community. Kind of surprised more people haven't been talking about it. Um, super, super, super solid uh, Monkey Ball clone. Um, if you uh, were frustrated by some of the later Monkey Ball sequels and you really want to play something that feels like it um, is a throwback to the first couple games, um, this is going to be right up your alley. You're going to love it. Um, you don't get the mini games. You do get a basic multiplayer mode, but you don't get all those fun little mini games. So, but the price reflects that. Uh, like I said, I think it's fifteen dollars. Um, I think for that, it is a bargain if you like the Monkey Ball games. I mean, if you like the Monkey Ball games, you don't even like. It's, it's not even a question of whether or not you should get this. Um, if you've never played the Monkey Ball games, um, just know that you are in for a pretty uh, steep challenge for some of the later levels. Um, some of the early levels are pretty darn easy. It does give you a decent selection of easy stuff to play through. So um, it, even if you're not experienced with this kind of stuff, I think you'll still find a lot to enjoy. So in this series, what the heck is, I am going to be rating the games uh, along the spectrum of don't buy uh, for fans of the genre only or just absolutely a must purchase. Um, I'm going to kind of cheat and put this between somewhere between a must purchase and fans of the genre. Um, I think, like I said, if you are a fan of the Monkey Ball games, you already know you like it. It's a, it's an absolute must purchase for you. Um, but I think it, it kind of starts to teeter into the, the purchase for anybody. Because um, even if you haven't played the Monkey Ball games, um, I think even though it is incredibly difficult in the later areas, uh, the concept is immediately accessible. So um, just about anyone can handle pushing a stick and rolling the ball. Um, the challenge really is is mastering that that one type of movement um, and mastering momentum and um, just all the all the different skill sets with moving to navigate the le levels the best you can. So it was so nice having you here with me, Poindexters. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Happy gaming, and I will see you later. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.